All right, thank you for tuning in today, 286 of Dimmer's Jiu-Jitsu Journey. Uh, I've just got two no-gi rounds today. Uh, I went to class this morning, Saturday today. Um, we do first half of the class gi, second half no-gi. And man, I had like three rolls today. I wish I would have got on video, but I was just was kind of in the back of the gym, so you couldn't really see what was going on. But um, this one here is me and Pong. I don't know if I've had a video of me and Pong up because it's uh, it's like watching a toddler trying to pass his guard, basically. Um, Pong's a purple belt. He's an animal. Uh, I've never passed his guard. I got maybe a little close a couple times today um you know my guard passing at this point is not real complicated i'm trying over unders double unders the toriando i'm trying this right here you know getting just getting his uh, uh, leg thrown over me kind of a double under i guess um you know, uh, lock up both his legs and pass that way. Uh, yeah, over and over and over again, you'll see me fail. It was a really good workout. Th three minutes of just trying to push myself hard to um, to get a good workout. Getting see there, I was I was somewhat close, but but probably not really. Uh, Pong's really good at retaining his guard, um, so it's really good practice. Uh, you know, I feel like if I can, if I can get to where I can maybe pass someone like Pong's guard every once in a while, then, you know, a white belt in a random tournament is, uh, is going to be a heck of a lot easier than that. Uh, again, trying to work, and one, one good piece of advice Pong gave me is a couple times, like right here, I'm going to work to get outside of that one leg, right? He said, "Keep circling over across or around his head to the opposite side," and I think that's a good piece of advice. Um, so I'm going to start working that. If I get somebody who is just giving me a really hard time, and I'm able to kind of get past, but just not able to complete it, uh, and then right there, he just basically said, "All right, enough messing around," and we end up in this spot where he's got an underhook on my right arm there. Uh, and if I let him get that, it's not going to end well. But I've got a hook under both of it, both my arms under his leg. Um, so we kind of just stalemate here for a little bit. Um, I was not letting go or it was he was going to break my arm in half. He wouldn't really, but he could have. So that was that. Um, Pong's helped me a lot. He's, he's stayed after class and given me pointers and showed me stuff on specific techniques. So another person that's really helped me. Uh, this one is with Mark. I think I just put up one the other day with Mark. Uh, Mark's a younger guy. Uh, man, I remember when he started at the gym, and it feels like it wasn't too long ago, but it, it probably was. It was a little bit after me, I believe. And uh, it was a pretty easy, fairly easy round, um, just because he was new. And, uh, man, he's worked his butt off, and... He's he's gotten pretty good now. Right there, he had a good a good uh, Kimura grip on my arm there, but I was able to kind of work out of it and end up end up past his guard. Mark, Mark's really good at getting his knee back in there and getting guard back. So coming into to tonight into this roll or into this morning, uh, right here when I end up in side control, I went. I am not giving his him his guard back. I, I will pass to mount or submit him or north-south or whatever, but I'm not going back into the guard. So I'm trying to be better about that. Once I get a position like side control, keep it. Uh, yeah, obviously that didn't work, as you can see here. Um, trying to get my leg out to go to full guard here. Able to get a, a real deep Kimura grip and then roll onto my back and pop pop it out um so he had to roll and then just followed it into him um again he's he's almost got his knee back there uh i'm able to go knee on belly right here we got got a little over a minute left 
from Neon Belly right now, I'm trying to, uh, I'm just trying to pass the mount. I've gotten all right once I get to mount, it, it stay in there. Um, I just need to work on my submissions. Again, he's able to get that knee in, get his guard back. Um, it's good, it's good working with Mark. He's, he's tough, tough to get past his guard, tough to stay there. Um, we end up fighting right there. He's got, I think they call that quarter guard. He's got my, my ankle basically on the one side. Um, 30 seconds left in the round. Kind of just cross, cross facing there, trying to get that leg free. He still got it. We're fighting for my left leg, you can see. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's open gym, but it's during church, so I won't be there. Uh, and then Monday night, I'll go to class. Um, and then we'll see when else I make it this week. Appreciate everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.